Hi everyone, this is going to be part one in the Model 4 restoration series of videos. Uh, today we're going to do something a little boring. We're going to clean off the areas in the keyboard here. I'll just get some Q-tips and rubbing alcohol and the like and just kind of clean that off. It'll probably get cleaned even more if I have to take the keys apart, but um, I have a CRT on order, so once that shows up and I can see how well the keyboard works, we'll see if we have to take it apart or not. That said, um, the other parts of this project will of course be cleaning the keyboard, repairing the case, um, if you saw my previous video that was damaged, and also recapping this power supply. The caps are okay right now, it does power up, but while I've got it apart and out, it makes sense to just cap it now and not, not get any magic smoke later. And then we'll be looking at the floppy drives in other videos and possibly putting in a floppy emulator. So with that said, let's get started on cleaning up these keys. I'm just going to kind of go through what I do on these. Um, this is at least a first run clean. And here we go. Uh, I apologize for the static shot on this. Um, it is what it is. Uh, okay, the water is not for me. Um, the, the seltzer is. It's still too early for the type of beverage I usually use in my videos. But it's never the wrong time for seltzer. Okay, here we go. So I have, I'm going to make a mess on this. Actually, let's give me some place to put the other keys so they can dry off here. This can go right in there. Basically what I'm going to do is clean these keys up, just take paper towels, I've got some water here in the cup, I've got some rubbing alcohol if I need them, I'm hoping that will help me. They're a little yellow, I also have here a magic eraser which I can use. So first things first, let's just take off the immediate grime on these keys, I'm going to do them one at a time and then what we'll do is we'll do the rest and I can speed it up and put it to some classy bossa nova music of some kind, because we all know I'm good for that. Okay, A key, uh, seems fitting, go around it. And we're going to try and clean it off as best we can. Now, if you saw my video on the updates to my collection, uh, this keyboard is was gunky, just nasty. Try it off there a little bit. Um, I think we're okay on that guy. It actually looks pretty good. If I need to brighten up the A, I might take a magic eraser to it, but I try and do avoid that if at all possible because I don't want to take the markings off. This enter key is pretty brown. Let's see what we get. Do this and see what I get. This may be a candidate for the magic eraser. I don't know if you can tell in the video there, but it's definitely darker down here than it is up here. Um, retro bright on these keys kind of concerns me a little bit. Oh, I'm getting some gunk off. So I don't know that I'm going to go that far because, again, I don't want to take the markings off the keys. We'll try this off. All right, this one's going to get a little hit with the magic eraser. Let's see what we can get. Okay, here we go. And this magic eraser is pretty loved. I did it on the top of the case there. And so we're just going to do this. I don't really care if I get water all over this because I don't really care. I'm going to clean the enter key. And it's getting the gunk off. It's not going to really unbrown it too much, but there you go. Yeah, I know I did it in the same water I'm going to use, but whatever. It's just cleansing stuff anyway. Okay. Eh, better. Um, Obviously, it's not going to take out the yellowing. That's not really something you're going to do with that kind of thing. Just a piece of bar thing here and go over here. Okay, so on to the rest. I'm just going to clean these and enjoy the music.
Okay, so we're moving on next to the keyboard bezel, which I'm just going to wipe down. I've got the magic eraser here. If I need it, I probably will, actually, but let's give it the initial wipe down and see what we've got here. I had a couple of white spots here that I wanted to get off with the magic eraser, but otherwise I think I'm happy with this. So, now that we have this all cleaned up, it's time to move on to the keyboard. For that, we're going to reset the shop. Okay, so I've got some Q-tips here. Put them there. Alright, I don't want to get this too wet, because uh, I don't want this to get into the switches or anything. But the goal here is just, I've kind of wiped this already down the outer edges with a wet paper towel. The goal is just to see what I can get in, how much gunk I can get up. Again, not too wet. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we can get. Let's just paint come off. Okay. Ooh. Well, that's there you go. Got some gunk in there. This is pretty clean. I mean, obviously the paint's faded. Um, I didn't, obviously if I have to take the keys out and redo them, I can clean this off a little more and scrub it a bit, but um, in case I don't have to take the keys out, I'd rather not have to take it apart again. And honestly, getting the majority of the gunk off it before I have to do that means there's less crap on my hands and we're cleaner. And here's the end result. So we have some nice shiny keys. I used the magic eraser just on the white ones to try and get the extra gunk off and maybe get a little of the brown out, um, but they all came out nice and clean nice clean keyboard bezel and the keyboard assembly itself which you know if I have to take it apart and do it again I'll clean it even more but this at least gets the main gunk off of it for me until next time thank you for watching and I look forward to the next phase of the Model 4 restoration